Online, the latest development in one of the biggest scams in India's corporate history. Indian law enforcement agencies today conducted raids across 12 properties in Mumbai owned by billionaire jeweler Nirav Modi and his family associates. Government sources say it is possible that the billionaire diamond merchant Nirav Modi has fled the country. Earlier, the agencies had registered money laundering case in connection with cheating of Punjab National Bank money. The agencies are probing if the alleged defrauded bank funds were laundered and these proceeds of crime were subsequently used by the accused to create illegal assets and black money. Delhi-based Punjab National Bank reported that it has been defrauded about rupees 114 billion by jeweler Nirav Modi. His maternal uncle Mehul Chinubhai Choksi and other relatives through a clutch of companies. PNB stock has tanked 17% in two days on transaction fraud. The fraud pertains to letter of undertakings or LOUs issued on behalf of some companies belonging to Nirav Modi Group, companies which include Solar Exports, Stellar Diamonds and Diamonds RU. Vyond's Sumit Chaturvedi has already given us information on this. Now we tell you how the largest banking fraud took place at Mumbai branch of Punjab National Bank. A letter of undertaking or LOU which acts like a bank guarantee was opened at the Mumbai branch of PNB. A PNB deputy manager used the swift messaging used by banking system worldwide to authenticate the LOU while the overseas branch of Indian banks gave forex credit on LOU to the customers. Lenders gave rupees 2,000 crore to companies related to famous jeweler Nirav Modi. The banks also gave around rupees 9,000 crore to Gitanjali Gems. In January, these LOUs matured, but foreign branches didn't get money back. The banks now fear a huge loss on their books if PNB doesn't honor LOUs. That's how the overall PNB bank fraud came to light.